Testability. This is whether or not the software and integrated products can be tested. If the requirement states that the software should work on all browsers, how do we make sure we have accomplished this? Just ask yourself, how can I test this feature? Can we test the software on every browser in the world? I don't think this is testable. The next three quality attributes are closely related. Availability, reliability, and robustness. Availability is the probability that a system will be operational to deliver the requested services at a point in time. Availability is expressed as the percentage of time the infrastructure, system, or solution remains operational under normal circumstances to serve its intended purpose. For instance, if a service is at 90% availability, the yearly service downtime could be as much as 876 hours, so you could expect the system to be down almost 2.5 hours a day. Or in other words, the system will be available and up and running in 22 and a half hours a day. For 99.999% availability, the famous five nines, the yearly service downtime could be as much as 5.256 minutes. Is this an important characteristic? A food delivery system works for 24 hours in some regions, 20 in others, and most importantly, continuously. Everyone knows that if you ever call a delivery service and they tell you that they cannot complete your order because the system is down, they will be labeled bad service. It's not likely that you'll call them ever again. Can you imagine an ambulance system where you call them and they tell you, sorry, the system is down? Wow, this is harsh. Such requirements need distinctive design and coding styles, so it's better to know this requirement very early. When testing such systems, measuring availability remains a challenging task. We need to measure how many times the software crashes occur, hence we measure main time between failures, which is the difference between crashes. If I know the availability requirement matters in my system, then I should care more about the measures and tests that should be taken. If I don't ask about availability, I will never measure it. To give you a hint of what could happen when your system is up and running for long hours, I remember once I was developing a new software on a new system. And for some reason, I left my computer while the system was running and went home. When I returned the next day, the whole internet network in my company was down. After investigation, it turns out that my machine crashed and caused a power failure that caused internet failure. I was curious to know what happened. Little debugging and log tracking, it seems that the feature I was working on was sending a small amount of data over the network, which I didn't plan to do. Such leak turned to be a huge amount after a few hours, which caused the overflow over the network. So don't assume that your system will be available forever. Leaks happen. Reliability. If the system is available, it doesn't mean that it will give you satisfactory results. The system should serve the intended purpose under varying and unexpected conditions. To measure reliability, we need to measure how well the service fulfills the necessary business performance needs. Reliability refers to the probability that the system will meet specific performance standards while providing correct output for the desired time duration. Reliability ensures that the software does not have many bugs that slow the user from accomplishing a task. More specifically, if I can depend on the software to accomplish my work or not. Microsoft Windows is known to have many bugs, but we still say it is reliable. Despite the number of bugs Windows has, I can still perform actions and get results. Reliability is not the same thing as availability, but goes hand in hand with availability. Using the delivery service example, you can call the delivery hotline. Still, they put you on hold for hours. Can't hear them well or put a wrong order. In that case, the system can be available, but not reliable. Robustness is the degree to which the system continues to function correctly when encountered with invalid data. The system should continue to work even when presented with invalid data, which we call a robust system. For example, let's assume a system expects to receive a user's age from 20 to 50. But what if we receive age as 60? Here we have a problem that might stop the user from finishing his task. Robustness means that whenever the system receives an age value larger than 50, it automatically changes or approximates it to 50. 
Even better, if there is invalid data, the system can continue functioning without interrupting user activity with an error message. If there is an employee, for instance, who entered age 10, the system can automatically change it to 20. So our system self-fixes any problems to work continuously. Therefore, robustness, in my opinion, can be part of reliability. Note that it's not very wise to make some systems robust. Imagine you're developing a critical healthcare project. Reading an incorrect input and narrowing the numbers is not a good thing and might cause a disaster. It would help if you stop the operation, warn the user with an error message to start again. Using the food delivery call center example again, if I ask for a large combo, I should expect that the person on the other side will understand what I want and not interrupt me by saying, do you mean biggie size? Or do you mean grand combo?